everybody, this is Kingfisher UK again. This is a 4v4. This is a, a new paintballing field, just opened up, nicely opened up at Scarborough. Second walk on day, I think it is. I've been up to give them a hand once, just to help them build the uh, CQB village. Two of the team have um, decided to try and hold the, uh, the village, and those two are trying to do a big right flank. Paul the owner has opened up all the fields, so yeah, this is a, a pretty big walk, shall we say. This hill that you can just see off to the left, which we'll start walking up it in a minute, is going to be uh, another map when Paul gets around to uh, building it. There's going to be uh, either a fort or uh, a couple of buildings on top that you've got to defend, and uh, the opposite team has to storm this hill. decide that I'll go straight up and the lad on the right is going to do a, a, a bigger right hook. See if I can stir some trouble up and uh, you'll get a bearing on where where it's all coming from. See this nice little path just off to the right here. Let's try to walk down. The bracken's really thick. It's really hard to be quiet walking through it. I'll try and keep low and as quiet as I can. We uh, know two of the opposite team are doing exactly what me and this little lad are doing. Doing a right hook, so uh, we don't know exactly where they are at the moment. They could be straight in front of us because this bracken is just so thick. So that's why I'm trying to take it as quiet and as steady as possible. At this point, I can hear quite a lot of movement in the village down below, so I'll get into a decent position in, in a second and I can see what's going on. There you go. That's the uh, CQB village, and behind that is the speedball map. I can see one of my teammates just getting his dog tags taken at the, at the minute. I didn't really want to fire because he was already out. I didn't want to give my position away either. And I'll have to decide to, uh, to come back around. So let's try and see if I get a couple of lucky shots off on top of the hill. Yeah, he said they were fairly close, but I didn't hit him. Just trying to keep my head down because I know I'm, there's a couple of us on the hill now, so I don't want them to know exactly where I am on the hill. And I've got quite a lot of camo kit on, so it's quite good really. Even my uh, face masks, black and black and green. I'm trying to wait and see if I can see the the teammate that I came up with, because he was gonna follow the fence all the way around the back. There was quite a lot of movement still in the village, but I didn't know what was going on. I did notice uh, there was a bit of firing coming down from the hill, about 30 metres, 40 metres in front. And obviously the two other lads didn't actually come as far as me, and this other lad round the, uh, round the hill, they just basically went up and hunkered themselves down, gave themselves a decent firing position into the village. At that point, uh, I think that's our last teammate in the village gone out, so it's now 2v, 2v4, yeah. I went for his dog tags and he's out. Yeah, I've just spotted the uh, teammate that I came up with. You can't quite see him. Ridiculous, really, considering he's wearing a lime green top. 
So I start pushing forward because I thought he'd already taken out the two lads that were in front of me. And then I realised he hadn't. So they just start sticking right up in the second and they get engaged. And there you go. Get incoming. We're about 25 metres in front. Just follow the paint. Yeah. Just trying to keep the reds down and then trying to track my teammate back. See if he can come up behind and get them without me getting too close. I just sit, let sit down for a second just in case they pop the red up so they don't know where I am. They're just on the left of this brush that you can see. So I'll fight my way through this bracken and then get into another path. Trying to keep my noise down. It gets a bit open here, so I do a quick dash with this bush. Just so a, they don't see me from the village, the other two. I know they're fairly close, these two other lads. I'm trying to see if my other teammate is still kicking around. As I say, I know they're close, but I'm not entirely sure where they are because this bracken is just so goddamn thick. There's my teammate. He hasn't quite seen what I'm trying to say to him. He knows there's a couple around here. He's still not seen me yet. He starts coming back this way and then sees what I'm trying to say. I get into this little hole and it's bracken here. And I sit down and you can't quite see but there's literally this movement through the bracken. That's why my gun's up. I'm trying to decide whether to uh, empty a full clip and see if one goes through or what. I'm trying to keep myself quiet and try and calm my breathing down because it was such a hot day. And that hill was an absolute beast. Yeah, he goes back around the other way and actually uh, shoots one of them. They call themselves out. So at this point I decide to uh, see if I'll give it a full, full go with the clip. And yeah, I should have reloaded. I'm trying to do this really quiet because I'm so close to him. Definitely going to invest in some clear magazines just so I can see how much how many rounds I've got left. Get the mag inside, get it charged up, and I'll rush. Surrender! Go for the surrender, he takes it. <laughs> Personally, I didn't want to shoot him that close because I know these paintballs can't damn hurt. Yeah. There's the other one just off to the right. Like, uh, the teammate got out. <laughs> Going back from the mag that I yeah. dropped. Another dog tag, but I've already dropped a dog tag. It came out of my pocket by accident. No, got. I have shot in this video quite a bit because it was about 28 minutes long. This game. I thought it might drop out of my pocket. Getting a dog tag back. Give it one to him, one to me. Yeah, we did actually. We were still here talking to these two lads for about five minutes. We actually heard them around the other way. Yeah, they fired at some. The other two lads that were on the other side they fired at something. We wondered what they were firing at, but they gave the position away. So they knew they were, or we knew they were on the back side of the hill that we'd just come up about 10 minutes before. So we decided to uh, get right up to the top of the hill and follow the fence line around. The lads in front spots movement and it's 
is Paul Leone with a camera. So you'll see another lad walking through in a minute, and that's the owner. That's why we're not shooting at him. <laughs> and plus, he was on my side, and he got shot rather soon in the game. I give the ladder a good five meters head start, just so we're not too tightly packed together. So we we'll make an easy target. I can give him help pretty much straight away if he gives and get if he gets engaged, and he can give me help if I get engaged. Stick behind a tree, let him move up. Keep a little cover, bit of cover, and keep your profile as minimal as possible. Push forward a little bit more. Let's go a little bit further in front. It's quite good. You're actually in the tree lines. Quite a lot of shade up here, so it's a, it's a lot cooler than being in the bracken. As I said, it's, it was a damn hot day this day. We haven't heard the other two that are trying to come around the back of us for a while, so they could be anywhere on the on top of the hill, so we're just being really quiet. Yeah, we've come to the edge of the play field, so that fence there is the boundary line of the paintball paintball field there is a path all the way down that side but once you go down it there's no there's no cover down it so once you decide to go down it you're committed you can get flanked really easy and you've got nowhere to go so he's just taking his time and checking it really slowly I'll push up a little bit so I can give him a decent Bit of cover if something does happen before I go down. Yeah, he's got far enough down, so if he was going to get engaged, he'd be engaged already. Keep my eye on the right. Is roughly at the edge of that tree line that you can just see. Lad in, lad in front decides to go on the left hand side of it, so I decide to go on the right. So if one of us give it, gets engaged, we can distract, and it's me that gets engaged in a minute. Yeah, just another couple of meters, and you can't quite see it, but just on that tree line on the left hand side, both of them just stick right out. So I start putting fire down. One of the lads said I barely missed his head by about 10 mil. First couple of rounds in. I'm just keeping the reds down. This 4 6 8 that I'm using does make a bit of noise, so it keeps them well attracted on me so the other lad or the other side gets a chance to go around. I do uh, get shot in a second first shot but I've done my job I've distracted him enough. Hey. There you go I get shot and the teammate's got enough time he's actually gone around the back of him so once this lad actually gets my dog tags in a second and he goes back to his teammate and he actually does collect them both up so I've done my job and we've won. I'll be uh, posting another video soon. So I'll see you all later. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video.